For our first example, we're going to look at our, the first one we did in the other assignment, our small picture and loops program. So here's the code. And you might remember that these uh, functions right here were, and plus the draw, these are our event handler functions, and everything else was a helper function. So smiley, plus all of these. So even though the, ca the comment says this, these were all helper functions as well. And we, we would pick one of them to be our abstraction. And I believe that uh, in the example, we picked smiley because it was called multiple times. So it'd be easy to write about how it managed complexity. Now, when it comes to algorithms, you can pick a helper function, but I'm just going to tell you for clarity and for you know just simplicity to pick one of the event handler functions. So we're going to come to this section right here. We know that these five are our event handler functions. And we want to look at a function that will call two other functions. So if I look here, it's not really calling anything. If I look here, none of these are really doing very much other than just changing the level. What's happening the most is all right here in draw. And draw can be an algorithm, a main algorithm that calls many other algorithms. We can see that this is exactly what happens. So, and really it's the only one to select. So there's not a lot of choice on this one. I'm going to come over here. The name of this algorithm is the draw function. And my sub algorithms, now I've got several. I've got draw one, draw rows, draw random, and draw random image. So it's actually calling four sub-algorithms, but I only need to talk about two. So it doesn't matter that there's four. You could say in your when you do a write-up, you could say that there's four, and two of them that you're selecting are. Okay? And so really, you could just pick any two. I'm going to pick uh, the draw rows and the draw random. Okay, So um, it doesn't really matter. Those are just the ones that I'm going to go ahead and pick. And then where is it called? This is just to help you know that it's all being called from one algorithm. So this is our main algorithm. These are my two sub-algorithms. And I'm going to make sure that they're being called from the main algorithm. So row 35, no, row 37 and row 39. Or I'll say line. So this meets the first requirement that I have a main algorithm and two sub-algorithms. These two sub-algorithms will work independently because they're each one a separate function. So that kind of fits that um, requirement as well. So here's a snippet of my main algorithm. I'm going to come here to my snippet. I'll remember how to get a snippet. And I'm going to pick the draw. Copy it. I'm going to paste it right here into my document. And then where did you find math or logic? Well, uh, there is logic right here because if statements are logic. So I'm going to just say my if statement is logic. Do I have anything else? Well, if I take a look at draw rows, so I'm going to put here that in the draw function, I have an if statement. Okay. Well, what about the other two? In my draw rows, do I have anything? Let's take a let's take a look not showing the underscore but it is there okay and so in draw rows I do have two for loops and a for loop is, is a type of loop so there is some logic going on there you don't really see the logic um, but I could say that there's a for loop so therefore there's some type of logic um, could I say that there's some math going on well I am um, incrementing so in a way there's a little bit of math going on but it's you know kind of tricky to count that as very much math. And then same thing in my in my random. Let's take a look at that one. Or I just called draw rows and where's draw random? Okay. So it has it is does some have some math right here because it's getting random numbers. So I could say so it has math, random numbers. And it also has a for loop. So this would meet the requirement. I'm not having you write about it. Just identify that somewhere in one of these functions, there's math or logic. And if there happens to be some math or logic in all three of them, great. But as long as at least one of them has math or logic, you're going to be meeting the requirement uh, for that part of the create PT. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, one more thing that I do want to say, if I had picked Smiley, as one of my sub algorithms, 
I did pick it as my abstraction. Well, that's okay. You can have a function that is both an abstraction and a sub algorithm. We're going to see that in our next example.